For more than 5,000 years, the marshlands of Mesopotamia have been a cultural hub. Famous throughout history for their beauty and prosperity, these wetlands are widely hailed as the location of the biblical Garden of Eden and the cradle of civilization. But in the early 90s, this once thriving area, originally covering 20,000 square kilometres, became a wasteland. The Saddam regime drained these marshlands of their life-sustaining waters by blocking and diverting the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in what has since been termed one of the world's biggest environmental disasters. But after the fall of Saddam, these dam walls and manufactured riverbanks were gradually broken and the re-flooding of the marshes began, restoring life and the livelihood of the local villages. Nature Iraq continued to play a key role in making sure that this time the marshlands are here to stay. In November, the Nature Iraq team members from the Kurdish North embarked on a group trip to the marsh area to see firsthand the results of Nature Iraq's many marshland projects. Uh, it was a very good trip because uh, before that, uh, just I know the, our projects just on papers. But right now, when I went there, uh, I saw our projects uh, one by one, and it is very nice trip to us. This trip gave the staff from the south a chance to share their experience and knowledge of the area with their 13 colleagues from the north, most of whom were visiting the south for the first time in their lives. Uh, this was inaccessible uh, during the last year, but uh, after the uh, Euphrates by, uh, by Jasim and the locals here, the locals' efforts, uh, the uh, water level uh, Jasim, what was the le water level measurement here? In which one, type? One, one year ago here. One year ago there is no water here. No water. Around 40% of the original marsh area has now been restored, with the potential for much more. And Nature Iraq are working closely with the Ministry of Environment to advocate for further reflooding projects. Nature Iraq have also embarked on a number of pilot projects in the area, including two traditional style buildings that served as accommodation for the visiting Nature Iraq members. Uh, Red House and Adobe House actually is uh, incredible architecture. Uh, I cannot explain, it's, it's wonderful and it's uh, really amazing. I, I really love it. The trip brought the team closer together, inspiring new ideas and group discussions about current and future projects. And the whole team benefited greatly by getting a first-hand look at the work that has been achieved by Nature Iraq in the marshlands of Mesopotamia. Make it. By small group, by good idea, by good visions, by, by good work with the Ministry of uh, Environment, Iraqi Environment, Nature Iraq make, may, make a, 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 good, a, good, a good work for the uh, Iraqi marshland. And I think uh, uh, most of the people uh, know Nature Iraq well and know how Nature Iraq uh, uh, do in the Iraqi marshland. I'm very happy. Uh, I have a chance to work with Nature Iraq.